Welcome to the spoken tutorial on Ubuntu Linux Desktop. In this tutorial, we will learn about Ubuntu Linux Desktop on the Genome Environment, some applications in Ubuntu Desktop, changing the theme of the desktop. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux OS version 14.04. In some of the older versions of Ubuntu Linux, the desktop looks like this. You can see applications, places and system tabs on the top left corner of the screen. In the newer versions of Ubuntu Linux, the desktop looks like this. You will see the launcher on the left hand side of the screen. If the launcher is hidden as shown here, then we can make it visible. To do so, move the mouse to the extreme left of the screen. The launcher will be visible. Move the mouse away and the launcher will get hidden once again. How can we make the launcher visible always? Click on the wheel icon at the extreme right corner of the desktop screen. Now click on system settings and then on appearance. In the appearance, click on behavior tab. Here switch auto hide the launcher to off position. Now the launcher will be visible always. Close this window. Notice there are some icons on the launcher by default. You can see the dash home icon at the top of the launcher. To open dash home, click on it. Right at the top, you will see the search bar field. Now, how do we locate a particular application? It's very simple. Let's try to locate the calculator application. So in the search bar field, type calc. See here, both LibreOffice calc and calculator are listed. Click on calculator icon. The calculator application now opens on the screen. In old versions of Ubuntu Linux, we have to click on applications, accessories, calculator. Calculator helps perform arithmetic, scientific or financial calculation. Let us try some simple calculation. Type 5 asterisk 8 and press the equal to sign. Instead of pressing equal to sign, you can also press the enter key on the keyboard. The answer is displayed on the calculator. Likewise, we can do all sort of calculations using the calculator application. Now exit this calculator by clicking the close button. Let's get familiar with a few other important application of Ubuntu Linux OS. For that, we will go back to Dash Home. Another way to open Dash Home is to press the Windows key on the keyboard. So in the search bar, type gedit. The text editor icon appears. Click on it. In the old versions of Ubuntu Linux, we have to click on Application, Accessories, Gedit. What you see right now on the screen is the Gedit text editor window. Let me type some text here. Type Hello World. To save the file, press Ctrl and S keys simultaneously on the keyboard. Alternately, go to File and then click on Save. Now, a dialog box named save as opens up. It asks for file name and the location where the file has to be saved. So let's type the name as hello.txt and for location let's select desktop and click on the save button. Let's close this gedit window now and check whether our file is saved on the desktop or not. Now on the desktop you can see the file hello.txt this means our text file was saved successfully. Let me open this file by double clicking on it. See, our text file has opened with our return text. The internet has a lot of information on gedit text editor. There will be spoken tutorial on this topic at the below link. Let's close this text editor and let's look at another application terminal. So let's go to Dash Home by pressing the Windows key. 
Now type terminal in the search bar field. Click on the terminal icon. In the old versions of Ubuntu Linux, we have to click on Application, Accessories, Terminal. The terminal window opens on the screen. Please note that the shortcut key to open the terminal is Ctrl Alt T. Terminal is called the command line. This is because you can command the computer from here. In fact, it is more powerful than the GUI. Let me switch back to the terminal window. Now let's type a simple command to get a feel of the terminal. Type ls and press enter. You can see a list of all the files and folders in the current directory. Here it is displaying files and folders from the home folder. We will see later in this tutorial what the home folder is. We will not spend any more time with the terminal now. Close the terminal. Terminal commands are explained well in the Linux Spoken Tutorial series on this website. Now let's move on to another application, Firefox Web Browser. Once again, press the Windows key on the keyboard to open Dash Home. Type Firefox in the search bar. Click on the Firefox Web Browser icon. In the old versions, we have to click on Applications, Internet, Firefox Web Browser. Firefox Web Browser is used to access the World Wide Web. Now we can see that the Firefox Browser window is open. Let's go to the Spoken Tutorial site. For that, go to Address Bar or press F6 on the keyboard. I am pressing F6 now. And we are in the Address Bar. Press Backspace to clear any text visible in the Address Bar. Now let's type HTTP colon forward slash forward slash spoken hyphen tutorial dot org. As we type, Firefox may suggest a few possibilities. You may choose one of these or type the complete address and press enter. Firefox will connect to the given website. The spoken tutorial homepage opens on the browser. Let's close this and move on to the next application. So let's go to Dash Home again and type Office in the search bar. You will see various LibreOffice components like Calc, Impress, Writer and Draw. In the old versions of Ubuntu Linux, we have to click on Application, Office. Excellent tutorials for all these components are available on the Spoken Tutorial website. Now let's explore the video option. Go to Dash Home and type Video. In the displayed list, we have one important application, Videos. Videos is used to play videos or songs. By default, it plays open format video files only. In the old versions of Ubuntu Linux, we have to click on Applications, Sound and Video. Here, we can see various application and here is the application, Movie Player. Click on it. Let me play a sample file from my pen drive. Now I am inserting my pen drive in a USB slot on my machine. The pen drive folder has opened automatically. If it doesn't open, we can access it from the launcher. Locate the pen drive icon at the bottom of the launcher. If we click on it, it shows the files and folders available on the pen drive. Now I will select the movie file to play bigbugbunny.ogb. Here is my file. Now I will double click to open it. It opens in videos by default. Let's stop playing the movie. In the older versions of Ubuntu Linux, the pen drive will be visible on the desktop. In newer Ubuntu versions, press Ctrl, Windows and D keys to go to the desktop directly. In older Ubuntu versions, the required key combination to go to the desktop used to be either Ctrl Alt D or Windows key and D. The user must be prepared to handle such variation from version to version. Let us now press Ctrl, Windows and D keys to go to the desktop. 
Now let's see some more important things on this desktop. Notice the folder icon present in the launcher. Let's click on it. The home folder opens. In the old versions of Ubuntu Linux, we have to click on Places, Home Folder. Every user has a unique home folder in Ubuntu Linux. We can say that the home folder is our house, where we can store our files and folders. Unless we permit, others cannot see them. More information on file permission is available in the Linux Spoken Tutorials. Let us switch back. In our home folder, we can see other folders such as Desktop, Documents, Downloads, etc. In Linux, everything is a file. Let's open the Desktop folder by double-clicking on it. Here, we can see that the same hello.txt file that we save from the text editor. So, this folder and desktop are the same. Let me close this now. Aren't you bored of seeing the same theme of the desktop? Let's change it. Go to Dash Home and type System Settings in the search bar field. Then click on System Settings icon. Alternately, click on the wheel icon at the top right of the desktop screen. Click on System Settings and then on Appearance. In the previous Ubuntu Linux versions, we have to go to System, Preferences, Appearance. The Appearance windows opens up. Here, under Themes tab, we have many pre-installed themes. Play with these themes as per your preference. As soon as you click on that, you can see that the changes have been applied on your desktop. You can see it clearly by pressing Ctrl, Windows and D keys simultaneously. That's all for this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned about the Ubuntu desktop, the launcher and some of the icons visible on it, few important applications like calculator, text editor, terminal, Firefox web browser, movie player and LibreOffice suite components the home folder and changing the theme of your desktop. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates on passing online tests. For details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial project is funded by Enemy ICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the following link. The script for this tutorial has been contributed by Anusha Kadambala and the Spoken Tutorial team. This is Gaurav Shinde from IIT Bombay. Thank you for joining.